hi and welcome back guys we're so stoked to have you here today today's topic is a little bit of a difficult one we're going to chat about racism something that should not exist no but we're a lot of us are still dealing with it today i feel like we should have overcome this a long time ago yeah. but unfortunately we're still battling the effects of um, racism what does the Bible say about racism? Is there something concrete, something that we can turn to that says something about it? If you have any thoughts or if you know what the Bible says, let us know in the comment section below. Well, Genesis 127 says that we're all made in the image of God. So if we're judging people and thinking lesser of them based off of the color of their skin, that is going against scripture. I lived here in Virginia in fifth grade and there were, we were you know, talking about history and we know beginning, you know, those things that you have to learn as far as part of your SOLs and things like that. And I was just surprised because I didn't know that that was a thing. Mm. And, you know, being separated even in my own classes or like I mentioned before, even in college, people being racist and prejudiced towards me and like, we're both Hispanic. What's the problem? Like we're Let's celebrate our differences. Let's work together. Let's create something new. And I was just so surprised that this is still an issue because mm. for me, it doesn't matter. For me, it, I love different cultures, different people, and what everybody else brings to the table. So it's just so surprising that this is still a problem, not just in the US, but in other countries too. I feel like Pla certain places that I go as a young black and Hispanic female that I'm looked at differently or treated differently because of how I appear. Back in the schoolyard, coming into the workforce, changing states, it's just so interesting and terrible to experience people treating me differently because of the color of my skin, um, even before they got to know me. Sometimes I feel like it's the elephant in the room if I step into a room and I can tell that people are looking at me and have a preconceived notion about me, before they get to know me, it's a terrible feeling. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. That is just baffling to me, you know? I hate being overlooked because I don't look like the majority of people in a certain room. I think that a lot of the times people are really threatened by differences, but these differences can be the catalyst to unity and change for us. Mm -hmm. One dream can change everything and flying can be that dream too. And we want to feature this next video right over here, big to watch of one of the first African-American male pilots. And he was one of the, um, he was part of the Tuskegee Airmen. So it's such a cool video. I watched it so many times, so you want to check it out. I think that many people forget the effects of slavery still continued even after slavery was abolished, and that only a few decades ago, people were still fighting for civil rights. One such person was Henry Allen, who was a foot soldier. He discusses his fight against racism, and you can check out his full interview here. And interesting fact, Henry became the first African-American firefighter in Selma, Alabama. How cool. That is dope. Should I say dope? <laughs> so people will be like, that's a drug, you can't do that. Another great interview on the issue of racism is from former, okay, again, is from former NFL player and senior pastor, Miles McPherson. He sits down and chats with Gordon about his experiences with bridging the racial divide in America. You can watch it right over here. One point that he mentioned that stuck with me is that we can recognize our similarities and celebrate the differences who make us who we are. We really should do that. Our last video is a Superbook one. This time, the host discussed that being different isn't synonymous with being bad. And if you have kids in your life, I recommend that you share this clip with them. It'll encourage them for sure. You can check it out here. We just hope that this episode helped to open your eyes up to the issue that still exists. It's so important to have a conversation around difficult topics. Otherwise, we'll never be able to find a resolution. Be sure to like this video. Leave a nice comment down below, share with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Don't forget to always do as you're told. Like. <laughs>
comment, subscribe, and share right here, right now. Yes.